Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com and this is my daily stock signals video for Friday the 12th of October after quite a big corrective week in the markets. I just wanted to do something slightly different today and, and show you how our stock scan and membership combined with our Elliott Wave indicator suite can get you ready um, for potential support levels and a return to main trends. So, but basically in our members area, our members get the opportunity to download spreadsheets every day with signals for long and short fifth wave trades on the 60 minute, the daily and the weekly time frame. So here on the 12th of October, click on the image and download the spreadsheet, which some, looks something like this. Now I've chosen the daily time frame. Swing trading off the daily time frame is um, a very, very high probability type of strategy and you don't need to be sat in front of your computer all day every day so you can see here for today's um, spreadsheet there is a hell of a lot of potential fifth wave longs here um, and I'm just going to choose the first two AMD and square just to show you an example that one of them's not quite ready yet but I wanted to show you that this stock scanner membership is preparing you and helping you build your watch list ready for those fifth wave moves which are the highest probability moves in an Elliott wave sequence and a trend so let's have a look at AMD and square and let me talk you through how this helps so with AMD, I made a video the other day and the, the sound wasn't working very well, so I do apologize, but I'm going to look at it again today. So despite the big move down in the markets this week, this seemed to have found support yesterday with decent volume. Here you can see that uh, bullish volume slightly higher than Wednesday's bearish volume. So we've got this wave four potentially forming here. So again, AMDs on the stock scanner membership. I'm using the Elliott Wave indicator suite for the think or swim version from wave5trade.com. It's also available for Ninja Trader, TradeStation and Multichart. So we're getting prepared and ready. Now, if the markets still keep going down, then we just keep getting prepared. Every day, we're looking for the end of this correction. And this correction is brilliant for swing trading because we are getting those profit taking pullbacks. And we measure those using our indicator suite and send those um, potential signals out on our stocks signals membership so with uh, AMD the the wave four is still good it's found support right at the bottom end of our green zone these are our probability pullback zones here the green zone represents an 85 percent probability is going to go on and make a new wave five high into our automated target zone up here around about 37 dollars there so we also measure the performance of that wave four, and that performance of the wave four is still within parameters. So we've had a false breakout a bar at the top of this, uh, the top sub chart here on the stochastic. We had a false breakout bar denoting really strong trend. We've pulled back against there with some profit taking. We've crossed over in the oversold zone, and it is likely to want to return. We also measure the 535 oscillator on this wave four. We're between 90 and 140 percent, so he's still behaving despite the large correction in the markets. Got good price action, good volume yesterday. It's probably not going to trigger today, but you've got to be always aware that we could have a big rebound, and we've got to be ready. So this one may be ready. Confirmation day today, really, what we're looking for. We're looking for a higher high and a higher low, a move away from this wave four low. But potentially we've got an entry. 2906 for me is the entry and most likely going to be Monday or Tuesday. The stop loss here is below this current wave four. So you're talking around about 2426 or something like that. So you know just below that wave four, 2433. Now the target is around about $37, $37.35. So we've got a decent risk reward there with a conservative entry of 1 to, to 1.6. Now conservative entries are very important when you've got these um, corrective times because we don't need a one day wonder. We don't want to get into this trade and uh, then it's turned south again next week. So gone for that conservative entry. We've got the start of the earnings cycle again today with banks and then next week with a lot of big stocks coming in on earnings. So that could be the catalyst for the end of this 
uh, particular pullback so we've got to be ready and that's where our stock scanner membership is really really crucial we've got lots of potential swings off that daily time frame and maybe on the weekly in the 60 minute as well but more more for me for that daily time frame getting us prepared and ready if we find that support and start moving away we have to make hay when the when the sun shines and get in those trades so now i'm going to look at square as well which isn't quite ready yet but it's just an example of how advanced this scanner membership is and getting ready so remember when we talked about the wave 4 pullback here we had the gap down on square yesterday and we've got this lonely doji yesterday with this wave 4 finding support in the amber zone so that's an 80 percent probability it's going to go on and make that new wave 5 high but we did have large volume today so we have to be aware that could continue but what we have is the 535 still within parameters my mtf dot cloud the overall trend is green on the monthly down here we've just pulled back into our ema cloud uh, cyan on the weekly as you can see that dot there at the bottom uh, and then we're below the cloud on the 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 three day the four day three day and the daily there so we we're not quite ready but we have to be prepared if we get the gap up today and a consolidation type green we'll have a, a, a morning star there we'll have that doji on its own with a potential bullish signal so I'm not got a crystal ball I don't know this is going to happen but this stock scanner membership combined with our Elliott wave indicator suite helps you prepare your watch list what am I going to be looking for uh, today what will happen with square if we get a bit of a gap up there and it remains green and we've got that morning star that rejection here is imperative so on Monday we'd look for confirmation and we've got a potential long on square and a lot of these are setting up like that right now where they've pulled back really deep but they're still within parameters of our Elliott wave indicator suite and our stock scanner membership hence that's why there's a really long list on there and then we've just got to get ready start building our watch list for Monday getting ready to 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 make a, take advantage if you like if the market start to uh, um, to hold support and move away from that support after the correction period okay so that's it for today have a great trading day don't do too much today it's Friday uh, and have a great weekend and I'll speak to you all on Monday